Hi, it's Steve from Brownells, and today we're going to take a look at reloading scales. If you're a reloader, you need to have some kind of scale on your bench. Now, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. You can get as fancy as you like. Uh, you can get a dispenser that weighs every single charge you do, or you can get a cheap one of these digital scales that just spot check your charges that you're throwing by volume. I've done it both ways, and uh, to be honest with you, I started out with a, a beam type scale like this. That's all that there was back in the 80s when I was starting out. They're very accurate. They're a little finicky sometimes, but once you get the hang of them, it's uh, pretty easy to know your charge within less than a tenth. Very accurate. The most uh, used uh, tool on my bench today as far as scales go is this one though. This is actually off my bench. And I use it not only to double check my powder measure, but as I often run a progressive, I have a Hornady uh, AP, and it uh, once in a while it runs out of powder before I notice. So I'll go back and I'll check all my rounds and make sure they all have powder in them. You weigh, a, you weigh a round that you know is loaded, you zero it out on there, then you weigh the rest of them. And if one comes up with a big negative number, you know there's no powder in there. You toss that aside, pull the bullet, run it through again. Now besides powder, if you have a one of these scales here, or even this one will function that way, you can weigh anything. So if you drop a bunch of mixed nine millimeter bullets into a box, you can sort them out by weight. So if you got 115s and 125s together, sort them out, get it done. You can also check your cases. Make sure your cases are within such and such spec of each other. If you're shooting pistol, that's not that quite that important, but if you're shooting long range rifle, it's very important that you weigh your cases and use as many cases as similar to each other as possible. That way you get precise results time after time. And that's what the scale is all about, really, replicating the same thing over and over so you have consistent loads and you shoot better. Now, let's look at each one of these. Um, the Cadillac, the uh, automatic dispenser, is really nice if you need to weigh every charge. If you're shooting at half a mile or something, you definitely want to weigh every charge. And once you set it up according to the instructions, what you wind up doing is it dispenses the charge, it stops at the correct weight, you take it out, dump it through your funnel into your case. When you replace the pan, it automatically starts dispensing the next charge. It goes faster than you think, weighing each charge if you have one of those. That's why uh, they've, they've become so popular over the past few years. The old style beam method, you pretty much dump your charge in there and then use a trickler to get exactly where you want if you want to hit a certain weight. Um, these are nice also if you want to just check your powder measure, you throw like 10 charges, dump it in the pan, divide by 10 and that gives you your average weight that you're throwing. You know, you're going to have variations, one or two tenths, if you're doing a regular mechanical measure. That's inevitable. Depending on some, some powders meter much better than others. But if you're measuring like a stick powder, you're probably going to see a little variation. And this little jewel here, these are so inexpensive and so handy, I don't see why everyone doesn't have one on their bench. Because I use mine every time I set up to reload. Um, I check charges the same way I do with this one and I check bullets on it, I check cartridges to make sure they're fully loaded, um, pretty much does it all. And it's battery powered, I don't have to plug it in, just super handy. So with what's available today in scales, there's really no excuse for you not to have one. And uh, the more you have, actually, the better. One for long range, for sure. If you want to measure out every pistol charge, you sure can. But these two are the two I actually use the most, and this is the one I use the very most, but I use this to check this one occasionally. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with uh, propellants and bullets and cases and primers. So be safe, weigh your charges, or at least check them every once in a while, especially if you're running a progressive. You'd be surprised at what goes on sometimes. So let us know what your favorite type of scale is in your reloading. If you have any tips on using one or if it's helped you out in a certain case, let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.